I've studied quite a lot about ancient cultures and the art that they produce and the significance of the female form in those cultures. And it's a very powerful way to interpret the fact that they honored the sacredness of the feminine. And somehow we've lost track of that. My personal interest in continuing to create the feminine in my work is to create almost an inner balance of my own feminine archetypal energy, to work on the softness and the compassion and working from my heart, seeing the world from my heart. I feel like there's a need for us to balance the world with a more feminine approach to things. I come from a lineage of Irish ancestors and I think tracing them back to the 1400s in Ireland that they were definitely some sculptors back there <laughs> and a society that honored the goddess and the feminine divine and also had sacred sites and stone carvings and I feel like my work is a part of that continuing the legacy of craftsmanship of art and making work that has a spiritual significance to the society I don't always work from drawings most of the time I work with a piece of clay and the female form emerges from my heart and subconscious mind. And those are my studies and sometimes my finished works that then I will translate into bronze or use as models for my stone sculptures. It's a conscious act to go to the studio, get the materials ready. But once I get into a meditative place in my mind and heart, then those female images just speak to me and come out in the material. I'm passionate about what I do and something that I have to consistently ask myself is why am I doing this? Yes, I love to make things. When I have a piece of clay in my hand, it gives me incredible satisfaction to just manipulate the clay and voila there's a form and then to work with the stone and have a figure emerge from a hard piece of material that has a softness if this can be expressed in my work so that when the work is finished another human being can resonate with that same energy and feel the softness i feel like that is my calling and that my role in the society as an artist.